global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We we have good and very bad news. One, well, the good news is actually affecting both the Igbos, that's the Biafran extract, and also the Yorubas as well. But the bad news now is the fact that uh, it looks like uh, the World Yoruba Congress is about to encounter the same fate that IPOB had years back. But let's continue to the news to have understanding where we are headed. So Professor Banji Akitoe, the leader of the Yoruba World Congress, the umbrella body of over 300 Yoruba groups worldwide, has said the Nigerian environment has been consistently harsh to the Yoruba people who dominated the southwest part of the country. The elder statesman lamented that though his, though his organization is committed to peaceful activities and peaceful purposes, the regime of the President Major General Muhammad Buhari retired has already begun to take action against it by removing the Yoruba World Congress from the list of state registered organizations. That's the first step. Let's continue. He also hinted that security forces are preparing to clamp down on the members of his organization whose aim are to promote and to achieve the growth, prosperity, and sustenance of the Yoruba people and culture. Akito spoke on the, on the occasion of this year's General Assembly of the Unrepresented Nations and People's Organization, which was held visually due to travel restrictions imposed to curtail the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Founded in 1991, the UNPO is an international membership-based organization established to empower the voices of the unrepresented and marginalized people worldwide and to protect their fundamental human rights. At the General Assembly on, the, on Saturday, the Yoruba World Congress was inducted as member of the UNPO alongside four others including the Movement for the Actualization of Sovereign State of Biafra, represented by Chief Raf Wazurike. From 1962 to 1972, under a limited self-government arrangement and federal constitution, which the British granted to Nigeria, the Yoruba nation proceeded to make most of the western region of Nigeria, the Peseta in Nigeria, and even in Africa, in virtually all aspects of development and modernization. But the Nigerian environment has consistently been hazardous to the Yoruba nation from the beginning. The British colonial rulers feared that considerably the educated and professionally sophisticated Yoruba and proceeded to do everything lim to limit their influence in Nigeria. From the British, the tradition passed on to the non-Yoruba nation or non-Yoruba people of Nigeria that the Yoruba nation needed to be stopped and to stop the Yoruba nation became the consistent purpose of Nigeria, Akito told the assembly. He narrated that Nigerian independence in 1960 the British manipulated everything to impose the Hausa people and the northern people of Nigeria and to have dominance over other arms and to exclude the Yoruba group from governance. Well, if you ask me, the Yorubas have been enjoying some, some level of governance, but let's continue. All the military coups from 1966 July to 1999 were led by military dictators from northern Nigeria. This was because the northern political elites, whom the British had manipulated into political dominance over Nigeria at independence, had used their control of federal powers to ensure the enrollment of northern officers into the military ranks. Inevitably, inevitably rather, the Yoruba nation was sucked into the deepening disaster. The military dictatorship seized important Yoruba assets that had been created in 1959. Most such assets were then poorly managed and and or deliberately allowed to decline or even perished. Deepening poverty because became the lot of the Yoruba nation in, in Nigeria. Also, Yoruba leadership increasingly fell for most of the mess like corruption, characteristics of most public offices in Nigeria. In the circumstances, Yoruba people have progressively lost the 
enterprising spirit and enterprising experience and the spirit of service to the society of which the nation has been known throughout history. The quality of the education has been destroyed. Yoruba language was de has declined and now faces the threat of extinction. Yoruba cocoa exports have dwindled almost to zero, with the economy depressed. Unemployment escalated recklessly among the Yoruba youth, forcing many to go into crimes, drug abuse, criminal courts, and forcing many more to flee to other countries in the world. Yoruba youth are regularly many among Western youths who, in desperation to reach Europe, through the Sahara Desert and the Mediterranean Sea, frequently die in the desert and drown in the sea. The Yoruba people are experiencing a degree of poverty, of loss of morale, of hopelessness, hopelessness and of disorientation unknown in their history in spite of the much known cultural unity and in spite of their many exalted principles the yorubas always consistently disunited among ethnic groups in nigeria akito he told the assembly of the insecurities such as kidnapping banditry farmer header clashes and many more that are per pervade uh, that perverted the region and have prevailed over the region he added heavily armed Hausa and Fulani militia men have been coming to Nigeria, rampaging, destroying villages and farms, killing rural dwellers and threatening to conquer the Yoruba nation and to seize lands all over Yoruba land, even to banish the Yoruba nation from their hometown and to bring Fulani folks from other countries of the Western Africa to seize and possess lands in Yoruba land. Countless Yoruba patriots and civil organizations and the patriots and organizations organization of other Nigerian people have greatly agitated for decades for a return to truly federal existence, but the people who control the central government have stubbornly employed the federal government powers to prevent such restructuring. Most of Yoruba people have now given up on agitation for restructuring and have moved to the position that Nigerian situation be sorted out through peaceful and friendly negotiation, which will enable the Yoruba nation and other nations that so choose to retrieve their self-determination and to pursue their own economic, political and cultural stabilization, progress and prosperity. The Yoruba World Congress, which I have the honor to lead and which consists of thousands of Yorubas at home and in the, Yor in the Yoruba diaspora and communities of the world, has stepped forward to motivate Yoruba people to defend their homeland and to prepare themselves for the accomplishment of the, their nation's ultimate goal of self-determination and prosperity. Though our Yoruba Congress is less than one year old, and even though we are known to be faithful and committed to peaceful activities and peaceful purposes, the Nigerian government has already begun to take action against us. This past week, the Nigerian Director of State Security announced that all organizations like ours have been removed from all the list of state registered organizations and that the security forces are preparing to clamp down on members of such organizations. At this point, when the Yoruba struggle for liberation and self-determination is reaching this height, it is a great thing that we have the opportunity to be working with UNPO. We are committed to peaceful means only and we peaceful means only and we will not we will not it is part of our constitution that we will not let any situation push us into violence and we believe that peaceful means can achieve the purpose of which we stand all right that's basically what he said that's the news but i wonder if this truly can stand through test of time but quickly recap he said something he said already security is making moves to clamp down on all their members the ipop treatment has begun the indigenous people of biafra this was exactly the treatment they had he said something also quite unique just sometime last week Yes, just a refresher now. Um, there was this general agreement or general f phenomenon that all social politically registered organizations like the Ohanes and Libu and all others, you know, have been uh, deregistered. De what that means is that they're no longer they're no longer registered in CAC. They're not known to be registered. So now, if you're not known to be registered, that means you're not a legal entity. So if you're not a legal entity, you are not recognized. So any of you speaking forward is like one unknown group talking. So technically, the security have every right technically to um, see you as one of those people who want to absorb the unity of the country. And so by so doing, they can clamp down on you and call you other names.
this is they're just a step just one step behind ipob in being proscribed but i guess this is what where we are right now in this country if these organizations who over time have been known to speak freely without any form of um uh, any form of um, violence are now being deregistered i hope they will not get the ipop treatment of being um, prescribed within 20 or 24 hours or 48 hours maximum as the case may be now that's the news the good news is that officially their names are now on UNPO. They, they, they had a visual meeting, the ceremony held visually. If you check the website of uh, as I yesterday, you will notice that the meeting was held visually yesterday. Okay, and now officially, uh, uh, Biafra, led by Oazirike, is now in UNPO and, and this nation group of uh, organizations same with uh, the Yoruba nation this is good news for them i would say congratulations are actually on the way but then again there's also wonder bad news of the fact that they're just a step behind being proscribed as the case was for ipob that's where we're going to wrap it up let's meet in that conversation what's your take on this it has begun and the struggle to keep them quiet is already on the way as already they've started making good waves i must say but then let's see how it goes on from now. We'll keep you posted on these things as they come up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and uh, don't forget to...